guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. So today um, I'm, bu I'm building a boat. So I had written down to do a houseboat, but I had also kind of wanted to build a yacht and this is somewhere in the scope of that. I experimented a ton with this build so you'll see it change so many different times with all these different rounded roof pieces I used and I just could not make up my mind. This is just so out of my comfort zone. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long time, but because it's not, you know, a house or, you know, a lot I normally build, we don't actually have boats in the game. It was a ton of trial and error. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much that pretty much everything I do, I change multiple times throughout the course of this build, but maybe that'll be interesting and relatable, hopefully and not too painful to watch. So this ends up being a two bedroom, two bathroom home in the shape of a kind of fancy yacht in the world of Sulani. And it comes in at around 63,000 simoleons. I just realized I said we don't have boats in the game and we do have boats in the game. They did come with island living. However, they are not livable boats. They're just travel objects. Anyway, this is a livable boat. <laughs> It's an interesting shape. I do use the ladders that we got with the base game update. Was that this month? I feel like I've lost track of time during this quarantine. I believe that was this month. It was around when Eco Lifestyle came out. So I definitely made use of those to make this a little bit more of a functional space. That way the staircases wouldn't be taking up too much of the floor plan and you'd have more space to actually have some living areas and you know, all the necessities you would need on this structure. Obviously it doesn't move, it's just a build that I made look like a yacht, sort of. You guys can let me know if it looks like a yacht. It definitely doesn't right now. <laughs> I, uh, for some reason at first, was trying to make all of like the curves of the boat connected because in real life, you know, boats have lots of curves to them. That's the whole idea beyond, behind these uh, curved roof pieces. But for some reason I was like, oh, this looks cool. If I connect them through all three levels and, uh, no, Tanya, it doesn't. It looks like it's a water slide. So I slowly change them throughout the course of this build. So they um they look kind of cool right now, but I don't think they're achieving the look I was going for. So yeah, they also change colors. Right now they're glass. Later on, they're gonna be like mixtures of like oranges and blacks, which ends up being the color scheme I go for for this whole build. It's the blacks and the browns and like the orangey brown tones that I love doing for more modern homes. And that's definitely the vibe I was going for, but just doing a tiny bit of landscaping now, I didn't do anything too complicated because the whole focus was this is a dock for the boat or the yacht or the houseboat, or I think it's a yacht. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I think I'm gonna name this video like mini yacht or something. Although it did start kind of small, but I kept extending it, but it's still not that big of a home. So it might still be called mini yacht. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm curious if any of you guys feel this way as well. I always forget that we have the option to have rounded foundations so that it can have rounded fences. And so everything was just, you know, diagonals. And then I was like, oh wait, I can make all the floors round. Why don't I do that? So I'm currently in the process of fixing that. And then this top level, I change a ton. Uh, it just ends up being a doorway to get up here. And I was getting really frustrated because at first I thought it would be really cool to put like a beach towel up there. Maybe like one person can go lay down and sunbathe. But for whatever reason, because I have that rounded foundation piece, the beach towel was like halfway under the floor. And I don't, <laughs> I don't really know why or how to fix that. And uh, we have a very intense water slide going on on the screen right now. Like that would be really fun and horribly dangerous, especially because it ends before the end of the boat. And uh, I don't think you wanna land on the glass railing. That'd probably be a really, really bad thing. Um, but just figuring out more of the floor plan here and extending the whole boat to be wider so that there were pathways around and I could still make things fit the way I wanted it to outside without being too crowded and blocking all of the ways. So like I had a couple of problems way too many times in this build where I made something I thought it looked cute and then I realized there was no way to get to it. Uh, and that's particularly true when it comes to the hot tub that we have 
on the middle level right now. I do end up deleting that, but then moving it later on to a different location of the boat that doesn't exist yet, but it doesn't stay where it is, even though it looks so nice there. It just, it didn't work out. Here I am working on the kind of room on the third floor. It's not really a room. It's just a piece of roofing and there is a ladder leading up into that space so you can just walk out the door and be on the third level. So it doesn't really act as room, but it works and it's how you get up there and I thought it looked cute. So it, it, its only function is to hide the ladder so that the ladder's inside. Um, but up there, I don't think I put any functional items. I'm pretty sure I just put a decorative like steering wheel that came with, I think it came with Get Famous. It's just like a boat steering wheel, which I know is not the right kind for this boat. It's really old fashioned. It looks more like a pirate ship one, but I couldn't put what I wanted up there. So I put that instead because my first reaction or like my thir first thought was to have like beach towels, which didn't work as I mentioned before. And then my second thought was, I really wish we had small telescopes. And uh, yeah, so, so we ended up with a pirate ship wheel and <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. And uh, it looks like we're getting closer to the way the rounded roofs are going to be working on here, which is quite cool. But working on the indoor floor plan now, this is going to be a bathroom over in this corner. And then the rest of the room up here on the second floor is going to be a sort of bedroom. This one's going to be a bedroom. But then up here, I do place down a bed at first. Uh, when we get to it, but I end up switching it out for a Murphy bed so that it's kind of a secondary lounge room turned bedroom when you need it to be. Yeah, I'm not really sure which order I do everything in since this whole build was just all experimenting and trying to figure out where I can fit things, how to make it sort of look like a boat and have like the aesthetic that I was going for. So I jump all over the place as I get ideas, realize maybe I should have a second bathroom that isn't off of the bedroom and uh, we're just fiddling with it. I really wanted to make the upper deck larger. I actually tried to make it have like two bump outs, but the, uh, the rounded portions just, they didn't work. It didn't let me do it. I was a little sad but I cut all of that out because it was way too long of me just trying the same thing over and over again, somehow expecting different results, uh, which is not really how it works, but sometimes in The Sims it does. If you mess around with it enough, you can get things to work sometimes, but it didn't this time. But um, anyway, I switch where this lounge area is and <laughs> where the lounge chairs on the upper deck are and everything a bunch of times because I just wanted to see what would fit best where and what things I wanted to prioritize having on this boat for your sims to go ahead and enjoy because while this is technically a residential lot I was kind of imagining it as what it actually is which is a place that you can go take a vacation you know drive around or would it be called driving around on your yacht? I don't know, boat around and uh, enjoy your time here. So I didn't really want it to be overly cluttered or personalized. I just mostly wanted it to be decorated like this sort of fancy vacation boat. With that being said, it might not be the most accurate or have all the things that it should have because I personally don't have any experience with going on a yacht or a cruise or really any boat other than a steamboat that like brought you over a river and had nowhere to sit on it and didn't really have like an interior portion. It's just like all open. It's two levels outside and it's just, it's like a little river cruise. And th that's the only boat I've ever been on in my life. So it's nothing like this one. <laughs> Although that could be kind of fun to build at some point too. But I feel like I'd have to come up with some kind of activities to do on it. Maybe it could be a restaurant, like a steamboat restaurant. That could be an idea. But uh, I did a lot of tiling on the floor of this boat because I really liked the way it looked. I thought it added a little bit more dimension, decoration, and uh, I also added quite a bit of greenery. So we're adding some of these plants that came with Jungle Adventure right now in these makeshift planters. And 
I do I keep those loungers up there like that I think I do and then downstairs there is the bar and then the two love seats on either side I also messed around with these windows leading into an outdoor portion so they're not really windows separating indoors from outdoors they're purely outdoor but I thought they added a little bit more decoration and made the outside look a little bit more interesting so I placed those and some more planters and some of these decorative vents and then I really enjoyed sizing up these, I don't know what these are technically called, maybe awnings and putting those under the rounded portions of each floor. I thought it looked really cool. And of course I had to use the string lights from Toddler Stuff. They are one of my favorite items in the game and I just felt like they were just a perfect addition. Imagine being on this boat at night with the lights twinkling. I just think it would be so magical. So I needed to add a mailbox to this lot and I also decided at the same time maybe there wasn't enough landscaping so I'm kind of trying to add more of that to the beach area as well as adding the mailbox and a couple of these Oh my gosh, what are those called? Aqua zips, I think, in The Sims is what they're called. And then here in the back, I'm extending it to make a space for the hot tub because we had to delete it before because it blocked off entrance to a section and I think it just works so much better back here. So I end up placing it here. We have some lights, which I'm gonna move in a little bit, but first I make an awning out of this low lying fence and I just really like how this area came out. This is another place like at night with the twinkling lights. It would just be so nice. Your Sims, you know, could have a little bit of fun there. It's one of the woohoo locations on this yacht. You can woohoo in the hot tub or in the bed. I think that's it <laughs> because I have the university shower, so you can't woohoo there, but you got the hot tub, so you're all good. Uh, but the outside of this is really coming together now. I'm very happy with how it came out. And then this is one of the two bathrooms. I figured having one that's kind of outside would be ideal so that when you're just hanging out outside, maybe you got back from a dip in the ocean or you're just like sunbathing. You're like, oh, I need to take a shower. I need to you know, tinkle or something. You got it right there. I also decided I should probably add a barbecue. That'd probably be a nice idea to have on here. So I just add this small one from, it's, ooh, I don't know what pack that one's from. Is that also from toddler stuff? No. Why would they add a top? I don't know what pack that is. Maybe I have no idea. <laughs> um, but anyway, I added one of my favorite girls. I used that one quite a bit. I'm almost positive that is from toddler stuff, but if I'm wrong, please let me know. But uh, inside we're working on the little kitchen slash living space. Upstairs ends up also kind of being a living space and there's lots of outdoor living areas as well. But I wanted to have a dedicated chill zone on the interior of this yacht. Uh, but over here is the kitchen. I thought about putting the stove and the fridge next to each other. But every time I've ever done that, you guys are like, no, don't do that. It doesn't work in real life. Um, but I, I don't know. Growing up, I went to my grandmother's every weekend and her fridge was right next to her stove. So it, it always works in my brain, but I guess it's not supposed to be like that. But I just kind of talked over the kitchen. I'm keeping everything in the decoration in here pretty simple because like I said, it's supposed to be sort of a vacation home that you are hanging out on. It's not your everyday location. So uh, added a lot of these photos of water life that I thought looked so nice and then we are upstairs working on the secondary living space slash second bedroom. I thought this room worked better as a room with a Murphy bed that could just be a hangout zone in general instead of it being solely a second bedroom because you would have to walk through it to get to this larger bathroom and also to climb up the ladder to get to the top deck. So I thought this could be a room that when people stay the night that don't own it, they could crash there or maybe the kids crash on the Murphy bed or something like that. I thought that was a cool idea. I also added an easel and a chess table so there's some more activities to do. And that's pretty much it. We are coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't, I don't know if it's accurate, but I had fun building it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to so be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.